Okay, so I let our reaction proceed for one hour, and as you can see, it is blood red, still nice and thick. And now I'm going to test it and see what our uh, ratios are, our levels are. Okay guys, I'm going to review the uh, chromatogram of the uh, CBD reaction, the NEAT CBD reaction. Uh, so first of all, it looks like we do not have any CBD left. It was all reacted. It looks like the majority of it did form into Delta 8 THC. Looks like we got 74% Delta 8 THC. Um, this is the Delta 8 peak right here. The Delta 9 peak is this little one, which we got about 2.5% Delta 9. Uh, some other identified peaks that we got, we got uh, approximately 15% EXO and ISO THC. Down here we also got 4% CBDA. Uh, that might be a misidentification, that kind of doesn't make sense. Um, I don't know, there's no CBN and looks like we've got a couple other unidentified peaks as well, which um, could be other uh, isomers. I'm not an analytical chemist, so uh, these in-house results are just preliminary that we do. Uh, normally we would send our test results off to KCA for uh, further analysis, but since this is just for uh, fun and uh, informative purposes, uh, this is as far as I will be going on here. So we got, to wrap up, 74%, Delta 8, 2.5%, Delta 9, and about 15% EXO and ISO THC combined. And that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed this and stay tuned and we will be doing more videos on reacting CBD with different acids and different solvents to produce uh, different uh, ratios of cannabinoids. Thank you.